Welcome everyone, it's Jenkins Governance. Today is the 28th of July. So I had some agenda items. I'm open if others would like to drive, I'm just gonna walk through the agenda. We've got news, press contacts, update, status, discourse evaluation, reminder on LFX security V2 and ratings for releases was one topic that might be worth discussing here if you wanna share something, Gavin, if I have anything on that. Other topics? Nope, pretty quiet this week. Okay, great. So, Sorry, I like one thing, but maybe I missed something because I, uh, I'm bad at reading emails, but there was something about the um, election coming this year. Oh yes, that should be a good one for news, absolutely. Yeah. So elections coming in December. Yeah. And uh, officers, I believe it's two officers up for election. And, oh no, no, I, I take it back wrong. All officers are up for election. So release, events, security, et cetera. And I thought two board members. Yeah. But I'd have to look at the terms to Lee be sure. Oleg. Ah, okay. So Gavin and Oleg. No, right. Lily, oh. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm Forty. Got it. Okay. Nope. No, no. 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 Oleg and Oleg, Oleg and me. Listen carefully. You're to really what's trying being said. to kick Gavin out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay is, with less work. Don't. That, don't. Is, <laughs> that is not the objective here. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So. So was I, the board seven at one point, or has it always been? Wait, as one, far as I know, it's always been five. Five. Okay, it was an odd number, though. I just thought it was. Yes, six. yes, it is an intentionally an odd number. Yeah. yeah. So, right. are we short one? No, no. It's just Kosuke is officially a member of the board, but right, he's a lifetime member. Got to exactly. That's correct. All right. So, uh, by way of news, Jenkins two dot two eighty nine dot three released today. Uh, the Docker images are delayed because we've had a problem in the scripts. Um, we'll keep working it. It may be a day or two before the the tags are placed for the that those Docker images. We've got a choice on the next Jenkins release. LTS has been chosen to be based on 2.302. And it will it should release on if it's on schedule, August 25 of 2021. And uh, Google Summer of Code. All the projects successfully completed phase one and shared their results at in a webinar. Then elections are coming in December. Uh, this is the regular annual election. All officers will be up for election. Uh, so events officer, security officer, docs officer, et cetera, um, and two board members. And uh, the process will be Describe further, et cetera, as we get closer to that date. We will need someone to run it. So ah, one of yes. all the emails this week was that there's someone needs to lead, lead or uh, spearhead it. I don't want to volunteer for more things, but his recommendation was uh, Evelina or myself uh, because we're on for another term, so we're around. But it really can be anyone, as far as I know. It doesn't have to be a board member. Correct. I, I would I would need to learn a bit more about what does it really mean uh, before I commit to something that I don't know if I can or cannot deliver. But no. I I uh, yeah let, let's uh, I'll try and uh, I'll talk to Oleg and let's see how it goes because uh, it uh, as yeah Gavin I think you're busy enough. <laughs> So yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up with Oleg and, and uh, we can talk next time. Great, and for your info, Evelina, Olivier Vernin has okay. good details of the election process and past years, the techniques we used, et cetera. So, so by all means, you could talk to Oleg or to Olivier and mm. they can guide you on, hey, here's what it means and here are the kinds of processes we used and here's where you read the retrospectives. Good, great. Then, uh, yeah. I think we even have a checklist. Right, right. Yeah, but then yeah. I'll I'll reach out to Oliver and and uh, and uh, uh, let's see how it goes, and then we can pick it up 
uh, next time. I don't remember when it should start really, when the, all the activities, but I guess sometime in autumn. Soon, yeah, correct, but yeah. not like very, very soon. So yeah. Right, it's September or October is usually the, the healthy time to, to get that started so that, so that nominations can be accepted, some time to process them, then the ballots can be sent out, et cetera. Yeah, the balloting yeah. can start. Okay. Anything else on elections before we go next? Okay, contributor summit. We're considering doing a contributor summit with, we're planning for a contributor summit associated with, oh, this was the last contributor summit. I'm sorry, this was the June contributor summit. And I've still got an action item there to post the summary, summaries and the action items. The videos have been posted and lots of notes, but action items and roadmap updates are not yet complete. Okay, new topic, press contacts update. Gavin, you wanna take a minute to summarize the result there? Uh, actually, there's no results. Uh, I did go in and find the press page on Dengs.io, which uh, I can't be the only one who didn't know that existed, uh, based on the fact that it hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, I replaced uh, Tyler. I replaced myself. Sorry, I swapped Tyler and myself on the page. So I'm now listed as a North American press contact. Uh, we should follow up with all the people who are listed to make sure that they still want to be listed. Uh, I also updated the, the trademark section, so it has been a little bit abandoned. Um, I'm also wondering if we necessarily want that page or we just want to say, hey, contact this mailing list or something like that. But for now, it's done. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Alyssa about her request. So, so far, nice and quiet. I'm not, I don't have to do anything extra. Excellent, thanks. Yeah, and I I noted to Alyssa that you are are interested in, interested in or willing to be on DevOps hosted on DevOps Radio, and she'll likely talk to you separately about that. Yeah, I replied to that email too. Oh, good, very good. All right. Okay. Next next topic was discourse evaluation. I really hoped Olivia could have made this meeting. Uh, it seems to be going fine. The people who use it like it. Uh, the thing is we have to get more of a critical mass because right now, like the, we've had three user questions on there, two of which I've answered and the third I have no idea, which makes it a little bit frustrating for people to use for questions. Uh, the discussions that have been happening on there are pretty good, uh, but we just need more of it to, then we get more users, then we get more discussions. Um, so I need to do another email blast, but I also need to know how much we want to spend time and effort on this. So I don't, yeah, I'll chat with Olivia and see where his feelings are at. If you want to push harder or just be like, okay, this is a fun experiment, but it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a good check with Olivia. My perception, I know I'm one of the users, but uh, I just went through with Aditya today, one of our GSOC students and showed him how to how to create a feedback section that goes into a blog post yeah. and and it just works brilliantly thanks to discourse combined with jenkins.io so thank you yeah i'm a big fan of it so i i will push i've just been with the heat and everything it's hard to stay motivated very long right. um i do have a work in progress post i'm going to do soon that will do an faq so things that we talked about last meeting which was how to set up subscriptions uh, where to post that kind of thing. Uh, I was hoping to add more to it, but since I haven't got back to it, I figure I'll just post it as is. And then I'll do. An, I'm gonna hopefully do an email blast soon. I just don't. I haven't. Great. Thank you. All right. Anything else on discourse? Okay, next topic, no. LFX Security V2 Adoption Project. So this is a two-pronged project. It's got a component that is infrastructure related that Olivier is leading. And it's got a component that is uh, related to um, plugins and core source code. And um, both are a, a little bit on pause right now. Uh, further contact between SNCC, the vendor, LFX, and Olivier is needed in order to get the infra scanning working. 
He's got it enabled. He's got partial access, but not full access yet. Oh, I do have one more topic. Uh, okay. Just, we can come back to it after. Uh, DigitalOcean sponsorship. Uh, oh, yes, app. yes. Thank you very much. We should put that, yes. Very good. That was mentioned in an in, in infra meeting. Yeah. So we had a topic last meeting on ratings for releases where ratings is the application yeah. hiding the PHP app hiding behind the Jenkins change log pages. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything more to discuss here other than what's already been described in community in in discourse. Yeah, the discussion is really good. Uh, it's a little bit going in circles. Uh, so mm -hmm. someone needs to like step up and be like this is I'm owning this and I'm taking over and doing it, but I don't think anyone really wants to own it yet. So the discussion isn't bad. It's just people are debating what the best thing is. What is it, bike shedding? Where everyone argues for their own little thing and none of it's better or worse. Um, so yeah, if anyone feels like getting involved, it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, I figure it's, it's actually a newbie friendly one. So if you know anyone who wants to contribute to Jenkins that hasn't really gotten involved yet, it's probably not that hard to get involved, either to rewrite it or to update it or discuss it or anything else. But yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent summary. Okay. Digital Ocean sponsorship. Gavin. Yeah. So I have not been following this as closely as I probably should. Uh, we do have a yearly budget from them now to pretty much do whatever we want on the service. Um, Olivia and I are going to sit down at some point and just see what we can do with it. But essentially, uh, we can run droplets, we can run microservices, we can run uh, managed databases. I don't know how much of it's useful because we do have Azure, but there are things we could probably move off of Azure and reduce the cost of Azure quite a bit. So uh, I don't think it's been a priority for us to jump over to that but it is something that we should really do. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure we have the budget there to do a mirror. It's right, I know it's something I, on the list, but I just don't know if 2,500 a year will, will cover that. Right, and that's that was one that Olivier specifically noted to me. I, I suggested, Jay, gee, I bet DigitalOcean has hosting in India and he said, yeah, but we would destroy the $2,500 budget if we hosted a mirror in India, the, the bandwidth charges would, suddenly it would become the, the most heavily used mirror in the entire world. Yeah, and they actually have like mirror mirrors as opposed to running as a droplet that would be a mirror. Um, I don't know if they're doing that with, because I know they sponsor like Gen2 and a bunch of the other distros, so they might have something that they could do just as a one-off. But I haven't pushed because work's been busy and uh, this is not a priority for me. So I would say we can probably do some stuff where maybe get some things off legacy infrastructure to something that's configured uh, infra as code. But yeah, we'll see. Great. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks for your help on that. And congrats to the project for receiving a donation. Hey, those were all the topics that I had. Any other topics that need to come to this meeting? Okay, so thanks very much, everyone. I'll, I'll upload the recording after, after its recording processing is, processing is complete. Uh, make sure everyone has a discourse account. I don't know, I'm oh, good. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. yeah, do it. You should do it. You should do it right now. Like right now, right now, now, now. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks all. Bye. Bye.